particularly focused on the, the pressing challenge that faces humanity of understanding and managing the challenge of climate change. If we're going to understand where we're going, we really have to understand how the climate ticks, what makes it work. I'm Taz Van Omen. I'm a program leader with the Australian Antarctic Division and I lead the program's climate research. So I've spent most of my Antarctic career working on ice cores, looking uh, at past climate by drilling deep into the ice, uh, penetrating the layers of snow that have built up over the years to actually analyse that and build up a picture of uh, past temperature changes, changes in the atmosphere, so that we can understand how the present climate sits in the context of the past. Our work involves getting deep into Antarctica where we get the right conditions for ice to not flow too quickly, for it to be thick enough for us to drill into, and then we need to spend a significant amount of time on site in these remote places to drill into the ice to recover the record. Ice cores actually trap within the snow of the snowflakes and between the snow in bubbles of air an enormous range of things that are now accessible to our analytical techniques. So we can look at the composition of the air bubbles for not just CO2 but methane, nitrous oxide and a whole range of things that tell us detail about the climate system. We've been provided the opportunity now to go after the oldest ice core that's achievable, which we think will be over a million years. Um, in fact, we're aiming for somewhere around about the 1.3 million year mark. But preparing for that is a really big task. We have a, a new ice drill that we need to build using state-of-the-art technology. A big challenge for us in the coming few years is to build our analytical capabilities in our laboratories so that we can undertake and do the very best analyses on the ice core that we're going to get.